In October of 2024, the Indian government made a significant decision to double the tax devolution to states for the month and also include an advance payment. Now, ahead of the festive season, the union government released 1,78,173 crore rupees to state governments as tax devolution. This release also includes an advance payment and installment of 89,086 crore rupees in addition to the regular installment due in the month of October. But what is tax devolution? Tax devolution refers to the transfer of a portion of central tax revenues to various states. The central government, remember, collects various taxes which include income tax, goods and service tax, the GST and customs duty and it then redistributes a share of these revenues to states. This money is utilised by the states for responsibilities related to governance such as health, education and infrastructure which all fall within the purview of state governments. Now, typically, Tax devolution is carried out every month with 89,000 crore rupees being the regular installment for the month of October. However, the union government has doubled the release this time around to help states manage their finances more effectively during the festive period. Now, this advance has been released in the view of upcoming festive season and to enable states to really accelerate capital spending as well as finance their development and welfare related expenses and ensure availability of resources to accelerate development activities during this crucial period. Among larger states, state of Uttar Pradesh got the highest share at 31,962 crore rupees, followed by Bihar, which got 17,921 crore rupees, Madhya Pradesh, 13,987 crore rupees, West Bengal, 13,404 crore rupees, and Maharashtra got 11,255 crore rupees. Now, this was the second time so far in the current financial year itself that the central government released an advance monthly payment. In June, the centre had front-loaded tax devolution to states by deciding to release two monthly instalments, which amounted to a total of 1,39,750 crore rupees. Now, several factors have prompted the state government to double the release in the month of October this year. Number one is fiscal pressure on states. States have been grappling with rising fiscal deficit due to increased spending on welfare schemes, social infrastructure and the need to deal with economic slowdowns. Now, states' capital expenditure in this fiscal year likely fell by 17% on year in the first four months. This move is expected, the move to front load money and give double of what is expected in the month of October by the way of taxes will ease liquidity concerns for states and enable them to fund essential services without having to resort to excessive borrowing. Number two, central revenue exceeding expectation. The centre government uh, and it, their tax revenue, particularly from GST, income tax and corporate tax, have exceeded initial estimates due to strong post-pandemic recovery. Now, this provided the fiscal space for higher devolution without straining union governments, finances and budget. And finally, economic growth and investment. By giving more resources to state, the centre is now aiming to spur public investment in infrastructure projects which can drive economic activity and growth in Q3 of current financial year. As states are closer on ground in terms of implementation, faster fund dispersal is expected to accelerate development.